Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Welcome, welcome! Hey, what we're gonna take a look at today is the Husky! Yes! Thank you for joining me. We're going to be taking a look at this now. I just got this in an unboxing video, which, um, yeah, maybe you can find that. Maybe you can't. <laughs> you never know when people are going to look at these and probably not in order. But anyway, I just got this little bugger uh, on, uh, in e on eBay, and uh, we just had it in an unboxing video. So now it's time to take a look at um, these little Huskies. Uh, these are made in Great Britain, forward control Land Rover. So these were a 109 uh, forward control vehicle. Uh, now the, the, the real ones, Land Rover was looking to get into um, more government contracts and uh, uh, military government contracts and they needed, uh, the military was looking for, this is basically the British military, and then others as well, but they were looking for uh, a, a vehicle to care to pull uh, cannons. I don't know really howitzers, howitzers. That's an American thing, but a big old cannon. Uh, and this, I want to say, it was one and a half ton uh, vehicle. Uh, usually had a V8 in it. Um, uh, I know the ones that I've seen had a, a petrol V8. I don't know if they ever did a uh, uh, diesel in these. I'm sure they did. But uh, anyway, so I just got this bugger and I was just kind of curious. It's a, it's a little bit different green that I remember. Now we've got some uh, added uh, detailing. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the original, uh, if that was just a yellow blotch and then he tried scratching it off. Uh, whoever it is, GB, that was his toy and he really loved it. Uh, he did some uh, detailing on the headlights, that's not stock. And then he added a Kiwi decal and then uh, the ARF decals on top, uh, 83755. And I don't know if he, he had glued, a, a, I'm going to guess maybe he glued a beacon or something on top. And I, I got it out of the box and I was looking at it and I'm like, hmm, that is a curious color green. And uh, just beautiful, beautiful blue tinted windows. Uh, I know that the uh, corner windows are something to watch. Some of the earlier ones, I believe, uh, the earlier ones had it, and then the later ones, they, they faded away. I, I believe that's the chronological order of that. But two, also, um, uh, the earlier ones had all metal. Now this, uh, there's uh, several, uh, two rivets, I should say, not several, but there were two rivets. Um, so the back here was is all one piece and the cab, and then as you can see, there's a separation here uh, for the front axle. That is uh, two, two rivets there, one behind the cab and one on the nose, and that uh, takes the front um, you know, like carriage or, or underbody, uh, off. So, um, yeah. So then you can get the glass in there. No interior. They, they didn't have interiors in them, but they did have, uh, uh, mainly, and I believe they were all just, uh, blue glass was the, uh, standard there. Um, there are some variations and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. So this is an early model with all metal. One of the unique things that kind of caught my eye and that I, I didn't remember is that they have this stuff. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, if you guys know, man, for sure, uh, comment down below and while you're doing that, give me a thumbs up. But it was kind of a cushion uh, in there. I think it's, paper or I, I'm not sure if it's like a rubber I'm not really sure it's kind of kind of squishy uh, but I, I guess that helps so it doesn't rattle although you know the the axles are in um, kind of well no there it is 
they, they are slotted holes. So yeah, it kind of acts as a suspension. Isn't that kind of cool? So uh, they, they otherwise, um, I know one of the other ones, just uh, keep that in mind. We'll look at some other ones. This one's got the gray wheels. I always thought the wheels were a little small uh, for this model. Uh, if you look at the real ones, they were always uh, like huge wheels. Um, but uh, gray wheels, I think they pretty much all had gray wheels. But this is kind of a, this wheel is kind of a husky telltale. You kind of know a husky by its wheels. They're, they're kind of small like that, even, even out of the Land Rover range. So anyway, so what I got some things to take a look at. This is one that I did have in the package. Now, this one, we I, I, I don't believe I paid $25. This is a local guy, Dave. He found this. It was in an open package. I got him uh, to come down a little bit on the, on the uh, price, but I'm not really sure how accurate this is. But it's kind of neat to have the packaging. It's pretty good. It does have the price missing on there. But it, it is a pretty nice replica or, well, no, it's a original packaging because it does say that the forward control Land Rover removal canopy, you know, it does have a canopy on it. I, I think I only have one other canopy. But regardless of it uh, really being original or whatnot in the package, now this is a later one with the plastic um, plastic base. The whole thing uh, there is uh, plastic. We'll take a look at it. So I've got one of those. That's kind of neat. Uh, one of the other things that I had to take a look at, I, I pulled these four trucks out of my cabinet, which is uh, the cabinet of uh, gifts from my uh, viewers. And uh, if you remember, these are from Dan Russell. I got a card around here with his name on it. And I probably should flash that real quick here, just to give him a shout out. I believe he's he's doing well, um, and uh, just uh, kicking it there. He comes back and forth, I believe, from uh, California and uh, and Wisconsin. And boy, you, do you think I could find his card right here? No, I can't. And uh, way to go. Uh, mention his name and don't even flash the, his name up there in the card. Can you believe that? Where is that sucker at? Anyway, well, we're wasting valuable time. Oh, here. No, that's not it. That's not it. Here it is. Yeah. Ba-bam! There you go. <laughs> so, big thanks to Dan Russell. He supplied these um, at one time. I'll, I'll tag the unboxing video. It's been about two years, 2019 of December. And uh, so, this is the uh, latest, the, the uh, later model. And because uh, it's got the black, all black plastic, you can see that the the underneath is different, obviously. And the telltale sign is these uh, corners always snap off on the plastic ones. But this is kind of that uh, drab green. This is a little bit darker, but it is a little bit darker and different than the, the this one I just got. Now here is one that is the original or first, uh, uh, series, uh, and now that's got those, uh, those, uh, uh, cushions in there too, you know, in the axles to kind of give us a suspension, but two of these are kind of a little bit different too, you know, I don't know, uh, when this feller, uh, GB was doing stuff, it kind of, uh, kind of made it a flat satin finish where this is uh, more uh, gloss finish, but very, very cool. So I had one of those. And then here uh, again was a different color. This is the different color. There's a green and then like an army green. And now you can see this one here has got that uh, stuffing coming out, that axle uh, whatever. And I'm, I'm not really sure what that is, like a plastic of some sort. So that's kind of neat to kind of see that. Uh, you know, an end of that, and uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And like I said, it's got those uh, old faithful husky wheels. So that's the other color that they have. And then this one here is another uh, nice, nice uh, example from Dan, and I just really appreciate that. And uh, all these have the quarter window in them. So that's pretty, pretty cool, pretty good. So thanks again, Dan. Uh, like I said, I got those in a cabinet all by themselves. Now let's uh, reach over here. This is my uh, 
jammer that I have with uh, my my uh, personal collection that I have gathered up. And uh, here you can see, here's one. I'm just going to pull this one out because this is uh, this is the later model plastic base uh, green. But then you can see that they got rid of that corner window. And uh, they don't have to put the uh, that cushion in the axle because it it's, uh, holds it a lot different. So uh, here's a better model. We should be showing you this one. This one's a better model. Look at that. Yeah, very, very nice. It's that green color. Nice base to it. Nice, crisp, clean. Uh, still, you know, this is a nice model. Somebody did paint the uh, bumper on that, but it snapped off that uh, corner on those. But uh, very easily done. But those corner windows in the later years, I think this is like one of the last ones that were produced was like this. Um, I also, yeah, this is uh, one that I did fi uh, find with the canopy. I think I bought this off eBay. So just a quick look at the canopy. I believe that's original. And uh, this is a later model again with the plastic base. But earlier model in that it had the uh, corner corner windows and uh see this the plastic tabs give it suspension there's just, uh tabs in here that kind of give it suspension so they they do kind of have some suspension so that's kind of cool so uh, let me show you now this i did only have one of my own that i found myself that was this original um um solid metal and uh, this is, of course, missing one, one of the uh, suspension pieces, but it does have the other one. But it does have the corner windows, beautiful blue window. I really do like that blue. But uh, all metal on the front, so it never lost the uh, corners of those uh, front bumpers. So really, really kind of cool and uh, really awesome. So there you go. I just had to... Uh, take these out again and try to do like a really update and uh, a uh, another review and look at this Husky that uh, forward control uh, what is it 71 number 11 21 and what was the other number there's uh, that came in the card uh, 21 11 and then there's another one seven I can't remember but uh, there's one that's a really different color like uh, Air Force light blue uh, that was kind of neat. I don't know if we really got would have got that over here in the states or not, but uh, yeah, really hard to get this kind of stuff here in the states. You know, they didn't really uh, a husky wasn't over here for very long. Uh, Woolworth stores and stuff like that, J.C. Penney's now they, you know, they're they're gone. But uh, really kind of cool, really kind of cool. Oh, cheese balls! They tried shut. I tried shutting the door and I hit that and now, now I lost all these other evokes that are share the the uh, the thing here. Let's see if we can shut that. So I want I want to get these out here that Dan got me. Those are really cool. And this is the way I display them in the case uh, with Dan's stuff and the other stuff that he brought me, uh, got me. And wow, that is just awesome. It's just kind of down memory lane and uh, really, really cool. So all right, that's it. Holy cow, we got to get out of here. Thanks for joining me with the uh, Husky Preview. Beautiful little model. All right, that's it. I'm out of here, your friend Dano. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.